Okay, so this is write an equation of a line tangent to the graph of x is equal to y squared plus 4 at the point 5, 1. Uh, this is a common question to see on the multiple choice part of the AP Calculus AB exam. So I'm going to go through my solution here. I want to just give you a couple of things here. One is before you get started, try to recognize what you have. So try to take a step back from it for a second. You're going to be in a big rush and you're going to be all hyper. Um, and everything's going to be rushing at you. Just take a second and try to recognize this for a second. What I'm looking at here, I'm like, you know what? I see this y squared here, which makes me think that this might be best um, differentiated through implicit differentiation. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just take this. Right? If I was taking the exam, I wouldn't even rewrite this. I would just be like this. You know what? I have this. I have this thing right here. Right? And I'm going to take ddx of the whole thing. Right? And we know that ddx of one, um, ddx of x is one, isn't it? So that's this one, that's ddx of x, right? That, so that's this derivative. I'm gonna take the derivative here, the derivative of here is, I'm using the chain rule here, so the chain rule here is that I'm gonna pretend that th this is an inside function here, so it's gonna be, the derivative of the outside is two y, right? And then you have to take the derivative of the inside, the inside is the y, so, so what's the derivative of y? Well, it's dy dx, isn't it? Okay, and then I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna, differentiate this. And what is, a diff what is the derivative of a constant? It's zero, right? Okay, so hopefully you see where I got all of that. And now what I want is I want dy dx by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2y. So we're going to get 1 over 2y, right? 1 over 2y is equal to dy dx, right? And we want the derivative at this point. Now this is a part where that I'm likely to screw up in my haste right there's a y here so we have to go up to this point there's if there was an x and a y we'd plug in both of those but there's not there's only y so i'm going to plug in this one so the slope is right at that point is equal to one half isn't it so there's my slope of one half and then i what i do is i go to point slope theorem so i use point slope theorem here point slope now in the book, I mean, this is the thing that kind of screws with people is that on the exam, you don't know what form they're going to give you their equation back in. So here's the form of my equation. I take this y minus y sub 1 is equal to y prime, right? The derivative, the uh, slope here times x minus x sub 1. And then I just do fit, but right? Fill in the blanks. So I fill in the blanks here. So here we have a y value of 1. So we get y minus 1 is equal to, we know the slope at this at this point five one is equal to one half so is one half x minus five are you with me on this so far because what's happening now is i'm looking at the i'm going to be looking at the multiple choice possibilities i'm like damn it doesn't look like any of them because sometimes it'll give it to you it'll leave it like this this is good enough if you had to write a solution this is a good answer you could stop right there this is in form you don't even have to extend this at all but it's not they didn't do it this way. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to distribute. So I'm going to get 1 half x minus 5 halves. This is just the distribution of that 1 half is equal to this, right? And I'm going to look again and be like, okay, damn, well, theirs doesn't look like this. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides, adding 1. So we get y is equal to 1 half x minus, well, remember, I'm at the opposite. This is 2 halves. Isn't it the same as 1, isn't it? So minus 3 halves. As I looked, I'm like, how the hell do, the, is it possible? They don't have an answer that looks like mine. And then I realized, look what they did here. So all I'm asking you to do is keep recognizing. You're not, if you think your algebra is good, stay with your algebra. But I looked, and the answer turned out to be this. The answer turned out to be 2y is equal to x minus 3 was one of the answers. I'm like, how the hell would they get that? Well, look, if you multiply the whole equation by 2, right? And we get 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 1 half is 1, so it's x. 2 times negative 3 halves is just negative 3, isn't it? So sometimes on these um, multiple choice problems, it gets to be a lot. And all I'm saying to you is stick with your math. You're okay. Don't freak out. And just make sure you have, uh, you have a strategy. So we said quickly our strategy was this. Look at the original equation and ask yourself, how can this best be differentiated? So I recognize this can best be differentiated, <laughs> differentiated implicitly, so I did that.
then I evaluated the slope. I made sure that, look, I had a Y, and that's what they gave me was the Y value. So I made sure I did that correctly. I took my time. I knew that my strategy was going to be to use point slope form. So I set up my point slope form. The whole time I'm looking at their answer, the answers they're, they're suggesting to me and the answer that I'm getting to. And I don't give up really quickly. And I kind of stayed with it, okay? All right, you guys, I'd love to get your feedback. And um, if I did a decent job, please subscribe. And uh, your comments are more than welcome. Thanks.